With me now is Mushkagoak Council Grand Chief Jonathan Solomon. He's in Kshashawan First Nation this morning. Good morning. Glad you could be with us. So what are you seeing right now um, at the First Nation during this crisis? Can you describe for us what the situation's been like? Hey, good morning, and thank you for having me. It's uh, It's been quite a few, uh, few, few weeks. Um, as you stated, um, the um, COVID cases that are extremely high. And uh, we're, uh, we are all COVID fatigued. We're tired um, in all aspects of our, of our lives, uh, spiritually, mentally, physically. We're just getting tired. And uh, things are slowly progressing. Um, the things, are, uh, things are being done. Um, isolation, uh, temporary units are being erected. And uh, I do believe there was um, uh, there were other resource, human resources that um, came in yesterday. And you came there to help? No, this is where I uh, this is where I uh, this is where I live. This is where I was raised. Um, this is where I raised my family. Um, I'm at home now, right You're now. At home now. Yeah. So, what more do people in Kashechewan need right now? Um, they need they need to get a break from this uh, COVID nineteen. Um, I'm confined to my house. Um, I'm confined to my yard. Um, I can't move uh, because of the lockdown to try and contain the spread. Uh, we're not allowed to move around a community or even go for a drive. And um, and the numbers uh, show that the cases are going down. And I think uh, you know the situation. The call for the lockdown is really um, uh, impacting the numbers uh, to get a little bit of relief, and um, so it's it's been quite frustrating. People are getting frustrated. Um, they're they're mentally tired, like I said, we're COVID fatigue. Um, the only way that we can get our supplies is through curbside pickup. We order, uh, we order through the northern store or the re other retail store, and it get dropped, uh, get dropped off by the runners in the community. So it's quite uh, an experience, uh, life experience. Yeah. It, uh, and, and, and chief, what about vaccines? Have most people received at least one shot? Um, the 12 uh, to 17 at their first shot about two weeks ago. Uh, so they'll get another shot, I said, uh, another few days. Um, the majority of the uh, uh, 18 and over got their second dose uh, back in March. So um, I think uh, over 70% of the population did get their uh, first and second dose. But there were over close to 300 people that were eligible in the community that did not get that shot. So, uh, so we're, er, the chief and council and I am emerging those people to uh, in any in any community to get the shot because um, we realize uh, the people that did not get the shot are getting really sick uh, because of the virus uh, difference from uh, those people that did get the vaccine and so many of the cases are children yes uh, that's that's the saddest part is um, it spread like fire because of overcrowding you know, when, when there's uh, 10 to 18 people in a house and once one person gets affected, it spreads like fire within that household. And that's why um, there are so many kids that are affected by the virus because of uh, overcrowding and um, something that, uh, that uh, our leadership is uh, trying to deal with. Um, you know, we, I wish we had every uh, infrastructure in the community to uh, uh, to separate those people that are affected, infected, so the whole household won't be infected. Uh, that's a whole issue too. Well, do you see any light at the end of the tunnel, Chief? Oh, uh, seeing the numbers slowly go down, um, I think um, we have to be patient. Um, our our, uh, our will is tested because we want to do things with our kids, our grandchildren. I have grandchildren I haven't that I haven't been, I haven't seen for a few weeks now. I haven't had a, I haven't had a chance to hug them, you know. And uh, 
because they live in a different household. So uh, it's just a very challenging time. And uh, people are trying. Um, I see uh, when I talk about the lockdown, I, I don't see uh, anybody, maybe one or two people just walking around in the community um, all day. Like I said, I'm confined to my yard. I'm confined to my house. I can't move. My family can move. We can't even go for a drive. And it's quite a challenging time for everyone. We are thinking of you, Mashkeguak Grand Council Grand Chief Jonathan Solomon. Chief, thanks so much. All the best to you. Thank you. And thank you for your, uh, your work. Miigwech.